me the story of how you practiced long jump in your front yard. My favorite, you know, everybody just long jump in your front yard. So long jump is still my favorite. You know, everybody knows Jackie joined a curse. His love affair with the long jump. Yes. And so the coach, and he had a makeshift a long jump pit in his backyard. And so I was waiting on him to take me home. And so he went into the house to go get us some water. I was supposed to be sitting down and then I got up cause I said, I want to try this, you know? And, and he could not believe how far I had jumped. That was the beginning of me long jumping. And when I wasn't able to go to practice, me, I would convince my sisters, we would take uh, empty potato chip bags, go to the park where they had a sandbox, and we would dip the sand from the sandbox into the potato chip bags and bring them to my front yard so I could practice on my landing of the long jump. Never could get enough sand, but it was just enough for me to practice my landing. And, and not let my mother know that we had left the house because when she would go off to work, we would have to stay at home. And we could only play in the front yard. And the park was less than 100 meters. So we'd go over to the park, get the sand, and then we would just, and I'd practice long jumping. I just thank God I didn't break anything. <laughs> 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 Knowing how difficult it was for my, my parents. My mother and father were, were 14 and 16 years of age and they had my brother Al first. I'm the oldest girl and then have two younger sisters and they were so young yes so young and just really my father did athletics and in the school they didn't know he had a family why he would miss practice so much because he was trying to raise you know a family but uh for us you know my grandmother would get a social security check so we knew every beginning of the month you know we get a lot of groceries and then you just try to make things last but we just had a lot of love in our home. We didn't realize what, um, what we didn't have. We was always told to focus on what we had and not worry about the things that we didn't have. And, and that's the same attitude I have even in my life today is focus on the things I can control and not worry about the things I cannot. But then the one thing about sports that I think is an equalizer, if you're great, people want to come and test themselves against you. And that's what ended up happening, is that eventually 